No spoilers on Game of Thrones. I haven't seen it yet. Of course, I probably will have seen it by the time you read this, so spoil away. Please don't. This says it all, Orioles first baseman Chris Davis got a hit, ending his record setting 0 for 54. Three hits, in fact. Two of them were doubles. June Lee talks with Davis and his Orioles teammates about how Davis broke out of his slump. All of the Orioles praised Davis for his professionalism and dedication as he worked his way through the worst slump in MLB history. It's kind of a cruel irony for Davis that while he struggled through this streak, the hottest hitter in baseball was Athletics outfielder Chris Davis. In fact, Davis, with a K, because the first player in the history of the A's to hit 10 home runs in his first 18 games. Young Rockies ace German Marquez came within five outs of a no-hitter against the Giants on Sunday. He ended up settling for a one-hit shutout. Rockies third baseman Nolan Arenado was visibly upset that he couldn't snare the grounder that ended up being the only hit of the game. The Astros have now won nine straight games. Daniel Kramer looks at the Astros' current hot streak. Today is Jackie Robinson Day in baseball, and unfortunately that means another story about the falling numbers of African Americans in the sport today. Bob Nightingale looks at the current state of the situation and MLB's efforts to increase African American representation, both as players and executives. Nightingale quotes Ken Griffey Jr. Who sums it up very well, it's not a black problem or a white problem, but it is a baseball problem, David Schoenfield looks at the current state of the National League East. Cliff Corcoran looks at MLB's proposed rule to limit pitching changes by forcing pitchers to face at least three batters. Corcoran looked at every game so far this season and concludes that if this rule were in place in 2019, it would shave an average of 10 seconds off the length of a game. The Athletic Sub REQ, Corcoran points out that in many cases, this rule would just force a pitching change to happen later in an inning and only after a struggling pitcher got lit up for one or two more hits. This rule doesn't seem like a good idea to me. Try the pitch clock first. The Mets have reportedly spoken to the representatives of free agent pitcher Dallas Keuchel. No deal is closed, but the Mets are feeling the pressure to replace the struggling Jason Vargas. Both free agent pitchers Keuchel and Craig Kimbrell have reportedly lowered their asking price. Ben Weinrib looks at what the two pitchers are now asking for and which teams might bite. Graham Mackery thinks that the contract extension signed by Braves infielder Ozzy Albies may end up being the new normal. Albies deal has been widely criticized for being too owner-friendly, but Mackery thinks that it may be the first of many deals like that. Mark Feinson has eight players who are candidates for a contract extension. Hopefully a better one than Albie signed. Michael Beller explains how Reds pitcher Luis Castillo's decision to throw more changeups has led to terrific results this year. The Yankees got bad news as reliever Dellen Bettences will miss at least another six or seven weeks after a setback in his rehab program. Mike Axisa writes that yes, the Yankees have had terrible injury issues this season, but the problems with the Yankees are much deeper than just having too many injuries. At least CC Sabathia came off the injured list and pitched the Yankees to a win on Sunday. RJ Anderson argues that the Dodgers have completely messed up reliever Joe Kelly, who was one of their big free agent signings this past winter. Anderson reports that the Dodgers have changed both what Kelly throws and the way he's used out of the bullpen. The results have been very poor, so far. Reds outfielder Yasiel Puig says he's excited to beat my old teammates as Cincinnati plays in Dodger Stadium this week. Free agent pitcher Edwin Jackson has agreed to a minor league deal with the Athletics, the team he played for last season. The Indians designated infielder Brad Miller for assignment, despite him hitting a solid .250, in the early going this year. Miller responded to the DFA by saying, Obviously they don't want the best guys up here. David Lorela speaks with Reds reliever Michael Lorenzen about hitting as Lorenzen transitions into being a two-way player. 
Mets broadcaster Ron Darling will take a leave of absence as he will undergo surgery to remove a large mess from his chest. Some kid flew a drone over Fenway Park during a game. Do that. For one, it's illegal. The AAA Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs and the Rochester Red Wings hit a combined 15 home runs in Saturday's game. The Iron Pigs won, 20-18. And finally, more minor league home run news. Orioles minor leaguer Jean Carlos Encarnacion hit a walk-off grand slam and stood and admired it for a really, really long time. Two runners had scored before he started to run. And tomorrow will be a better day than today, Buster.